Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome into your Sunday, the 18th of December, daily tarot reading with me, Deborah. We are looking into important information that you need to know right now. We are going to be looking at um, what you do not see coming here. This can be with regards to any area of your life. So we want to see basically uh, what you don't see coming, what Spirit Guide wants to show you at this time. So let's have a look and see. And remember, this is a general reading, so you need to um, uh, take a take it with a grain of salt if it does resonate with you you will know otherwise check your rising your moon and your venus interesting okay you've got full moon in leo and it says don't let pride stand in your way saggy i don't know you guys are not really like that hey there could be something here that's going to change and um it may not look exactly the way you want it to look but it's not about uh what it looks like it's almost about what it's going to become still so there's a very interesting here of you maybe an interesting vibe here of you maybe wanting something the way that you want to have it um or wanting to be able to create something the way you want to create it or an outcome the way you want it to be so it may not look exactly the way you want it to be but i feel like it's something that you might um, have to accept because it is going to be exactly right for you kind of vibe um possibly sometimes when we do get this card there could even be somebody coming in with an apology i'm just saying it does happen and um it can be like you you know you need to accept that apology it doesn't mean you have to accept them back into your life but it's okay to accept an apology um you know it's not about the other person it's actually about you um whenever we accept an apology it doesn't mean that you forgive that person or forget what they've done you just accept the apology to clear the energy i'm really curious to see what's going on here so there's a walking away there's a changing of something here that's going to take place um there is something that you're trying to figure out a hold on to here you're making a decision this is my stalker card so many people have got this card in in, in the batch of readings that i'm doing things are changing uh balance is restored interesting let's see what comes up here two of voices so something has been a bit stuck for you Okay, and the King of Pentacles here, interesting. The Queen of Swords. And we've got two cards coming up here. Bit of pain. Got a bit of pain in your reading here, Saji. No, I don't want to see this. Um, there is a pain that's been going on here with regards to you. Um, something has happened. Um, okay, so first of all, I feel like you don't, there's an energy of you not really knowing how something is going to unfold or how something is going to be. It almost feels like there's something stuck here with the two of uh, voices coming in. It's like you feel as if things are not going to, a door won't open for you. I see a door is opening for you there, but you may feel like it's not going to happen or something is not going to move for you and it feels very restricting, very closed. This talks about what you don't see coming. There has been something that's been going on here in your life, okay? Um, you got a king and queen of, of, of uh, queen of voices, which is swords, and a king of pentacles, which is muse of materials in this deck. And I feel like this is how they want to advise you at this moment that you're getting the reason how you need to be or how you need to be facing a certain situation. Something has happened here. Um, I feel like this is past energy with these two cards coming in here that has really hurt you. Um, the Three of Swords comes in usually means it can be depression because of situations or what people have done. It talks about um, feeling very isolated, feeling very alone, um, feeling sad, uh, feeling like at the low point, you know. And I feel like this is something that happened that caused that. So there's tears falling there and um, it's it's still showing up in your energy. I feel like it's not yet out of your energy, but I feel like you. this is what you're going to be leaving behind. You're walking away from this time. So the five of cups, it can sometimes mean um, crying over spilled milk about things that have still happened, that have happened in the past year. So it's still showing up in your energy. And it's showing up here in the Five of Cups, which is your emotions here, which is talking about you feeling emotionally quite sad. You're in an energy right now where you don't quite know what's about to take place or what's about to happen here. I feel like you need to go with the flow right now, but you also need to try to release what has been in the past. To help you do this, Spirit Guide is showing two interesting cards. They're asking you at this moment in time to kind of not go too deep into the emotional energy at this moment. Try to look at your life in a very 
very practical way. And I love doing this. Honestly, I love the Queen of Swords. She's my favorite card in the entire deck because she's so practical. She And I noticed at one time in my life, I had a very difficult time that I went through as well. And um, at that time, it was I didn't go into the emotion. I actually took the energy of the Queen of Swords and I looked at, at the situation and I asked myself very straight questions. So I said, for instance, um, for you, say for somebody out there, um, maybe say you, I'm just going to use an example, you're working and then you're not having a good time there, things are not going well, you've been treated badly, situations are not, are not okay. You need to ask yourself straightforward questions without emotions getting involved. And then you ask yourself, am I getting paid for the jobs that I'm doing? Yes or no? If you're a no, then you know. Is, am I being treated badly here by the my managers or the owners of this company? Yes or no? And then you have your answer. And from those answers, you know what you need to do. You've just eliminated emotion and you've looked at a situation with clarity. That can come in with a relationship. It can come in with somebody betraying or hurting you. You just have to ask this question. Did this person care about my feelings when they were doing this? No. Then you're like, Okay, fine. That is going to bring you into clarity. It's going to bring you into a good foundation to make new decisions here. I do feel like you are being led to something else. You are being moved here. Because I pick up somebody walking to a door over there. And I pick up somebody else walking to a door over there. Do you see? It looks good behind those doors. It looks like all nice over there. But over here, there was doors that you felt were never going to open for you. And you were stuck. You are not stuck. Okay. You are being led away from whatever this is. And you have to understand that sometimes the things we want so badly is not meant for us. And we have to let it go. And I think it's part of letting the pride, you know, uh, don't let pride stand in your way. Sometimes when something is not working, we have to just admit that it's not working and walk away from it. Because there is you here needing to make a decision. And needing to think really clearly about what you're going to be doing in your long-term future here, where you're going and how you want your life to look with a two of inspiration, which is two of wands. I do feel, I'm going to jump to the two of pentacles here because I feel like this is in between. You are holding on to something here and you're not really quite sure which direction you're going in. If you're staying or going, if you're going left or right, uh, how should you feel is it wrong or right? You really got kind of confused energy and it's unbalanced here. So that's why they're asking you to do this kind of like Queen of Swords kind of way of thinking. So just look at things very practically. If it ain't good, it ain't good. It's not going to make it good by anything. If something's just not good, it's just not good. And where things are not good, you do not stay. And you make a decision, okay? You will be walking away from something. And as I'm picking up the card, I'm hearing Spirit Guide going, you will be. Because what is not working for me, for you, either you will remove it or life will remove it for you. Okay, because um, balance needs to be restored where there is an unbalance in your life at this moment. What Spirit Guide is literally saying to me, we got Libra coming into your reading here. They literally saying, we will not, we cannot, not we will, we cannot. This is out of their control. Meaning your higher self has a plan for you and they are obeying that plan your spirit guides are here to guide you according to what your soul wants meaning not your personality there's another element of you that's still in the higher realms it's a higher self element and it's coming through in this reading your higher self is saying and your spirit guides are following a direction from that higher self you cannot remain here any longer you will not be here any longer. That means that there is another place for you waiting out there. There is another person, another life waiting for you. You need to get taken there. So there is almost like this forced energy of justice coming and coming in here and ending karmic cycles and moving you somewhere else. Go. Another door. Another door. Look at that. Go. I was just having a conversation with my oldest daughter and apparently she got a promotion and she didn't know if she should take it or not. And I was like, my darling, doors don't open. When one opens, it's your door. Go through it. You know what I mean? If a door opens, do not even once hesitate. You step through that door. Balance is building back, restored in your life. If you by any chance are dealing with anything that is legal, 
court related um, work related situations where maybe you have to go in a hearing of some kind of sort it will unfold in your favor it is going to unfold in your favor maybe um, you say let's give an example you are working and something happened at work where everybody got into trouble now there's a hearing taking place and you are holding on to it and you're like I'm going to stand here I'm going to fight for this I'm going to put my foot down and spirit guide could be going this is not where you're meant to be just let this go and walk away from the situation don't fight any longer justice is going to unfold in your favor one way or the other allow things to be ended and walk away from his, what is no longer serving you because balance is being restored in your life do you see how it's unbalanced there look at the balance coming back in allow spirit allow your higher self to take you there there we go. Thank you so much. If you do uh, get help from this reading, please do give the thumbs up button. Otherwise, you can check out one of my other videos there. That is on my new channel. I'll be re releasing a new video in the next day or two. Um, out there, uh, pick a card reading, Hedrid pick a card. If you want to check it out, you can do so. Otherwise, thank you so much. And I'm sending blessings to you. Bye.